Okay, Lavina. So um, we're officially beginning our webinar. Thank you uh, for being ready to take notes. Uh, I hope anyone that's just joined us um, uh, knows that it's important to be prepared to take notes during this webinar and to participate uh, throughout the webinar. If you have any questions and comments, you can also write them in the chat or in the Q&A section. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to leave you with our trainer, Ludmila Fralova. From Russia. Hello, Ludmila. How are you? Thank you very much, Alexis, for presentation of me. I'm very well, and I am very inspired uh, because I'm going to talk about uh, what I love, what I'm very much interested in. So, hello, everybody, and uh, thank you for coming to this webinar, for using your time and showing your curiosity, your interest to coaching. And uh, welcome uh, to the webinar, Get More Health and Well-Being with Coaching. Uh, why uh, these things? Uh, I just thought that at this time, very special time, which never happened in the life of people uh, uh, that all over the world is something happening in you, which is touching in some way everybody, each person. Uh, that health and well-being is very important and it's also very important maybe to uh, it's a webinar about coaching so how uh, by uh, exploring the theme of health and well-being uh, and how we can get more of that we can focus on coaching on coaching um, skills instruments uh, uh, and um, the way it, it is working, how we can use it uh, to get more of what we want in our life. Um, and uh, um, it's also important that it is for you. <clears throat> uh, what's important for you for being here, to get more of this webinar? It's uh, very important uh, to understand better. What do I want? What's my intention? Uh, 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 with this webinar, what do I want for myself uh, as a result of it? And me, uh, um, I will shortly say that um, I have big experience with coaching and with trainings. I was, I'm more than 20 years uh, a trainer of neurolinguistic psychology and have made in Denmark more than 100 uh, trainings during the years I was doing it. And the last 10 years, I am focusing very much on coaching, which was a new, uh, a kind of a new step in my development as a trainer, as a person, um, as professional. Uh, and um, it gave me really a, a lot of new advantages in my life. Uh, so I want to share about that. I'm, um, I have been doing trainings in Russia, in Ukraine, uh, in Belarus, and uh, also in Germany. So during the last years, I made more than 50, 60 trainings uh, of level one and level two in coaching. So that experience I have been gathering with that by meeting different people, uh, by going deeper and deeper in the those wonderful wonderful instruments and methodology which it has. Um, I have a passion uh, for sharing uh, with what I have learned uh, from that. And also uh, what's important, what is my intention here. Uh, development is most important for me in my life because um, it's so enriching uh, to develop and see the life uh, as uh, uh, having a lot of facets. So there is an, an, um, there is unlimiting uh, possibility to learn more and to develop more. And um, you are helping me with that. <clears throat> uh, because even by doing uh, the, the slides for this and preparing me, structuring what I want to say, I already felt, was feeling that I am developing in this. I am 
uh, I won't say I'm doing it in totally new way, but there were a lot of nuances. So the, the process uh, of development uh, is uh, going through our lives. And I'm sure um, you are here also uh, because development is a part of what uh, is important for you and um, a curiosity and wish to learn more. And I will be happy to hear more about that also from you. And uh, our focus is on coaching as a tool which can help us uh, to make our life better. What is coaching? Why coaching is important? Why is it good to, uh, and effective to use it? How does it work? Uh, what instruments do we use in coaching? And what if we get the best results with it? Uh, uh, question, questions like this are we going to explore today? Um, and I will tell what I can and share what I know about this. So, um, and also another important theme what is health and what is well-being? Why is it important? Uh, what, why is it important now? What uh, does it mean uh, for me, for you? Because uh, we have different uh, uh, maps of the world, different uh, uh, way to see things, uh, to experience things. And um, uh, that's why it's very important uh, to clarify what is it for me uh, and um, how coaching can help here uh, and what if we succeed with health, well-being well -being, and uh, everything what uh, is important for you to get from this webinar. And... Uh, uh, you can also note for, yes, for yourself. I suggest uh, for those who have prepared some uh, paper, notebook uh, or, and pencil um, that you can make very short, maybe just uh, a couple of words about your intention for this webinar and uh, about uh, also these uh, questions could be useful. Uh, what is your intention about this webinar for yourself? What uh, are you most curious about being here? And how present with your attention do you want to stay during this webinar to get the best results for you? And what will be a satisfying result for you of this webinar? And it's important because when we focus uh, on the goal, we already start uh, experiencing things uh, in some different way. Uh, experiencing how we percept, see, hear, uh, feel, uh, which emotional response do we have when we think about our desired goal. So, and also, uh, what is coaching? Uh, there are several different definitions of coaching, uh, which also show that there are uh, different approaches. They are not different in the meaning that we c some schools understand in one way, some in another way. Maybe they do, but... Um, International coaching community has the methodology which has uh, uh, integrated um, different approaches to coaching, which also in some way um, uh, add uh, value uh, to the whole understanding and experiencing uh, what coaching is. Uh, so... Um, coaching is a process of exploring the present and creating um, uh, the result together. 
And in order to do it, we first of all clarify and set our goals. Uh, what result we want to get by doing our steps to these results. And coaching helps people to become better and to achieve more uh, by exploring and following their values. And coaching is an art and science of helping people in achieving of what they want also when they think that it's not possible. So, um, what, um, you, again, uh, you can make some short notes uh, thinking about these uh, um, ways of what coaching is. For example, um, what uh, can be your goal for yourself for health and well-being? To achieve um, in maybe a more distant way? And uh, what is your goal for yourself to understand more about health and well-being in your life now? Exploring the now. What does it mean for you? Uh, health. For some people, health means uh, um, more sport, more movement. For somebody, health is about um, uh, healthy food. For somebody, it is um, maybe both and also maybe social relationships, healthy, supporting, uh, friend, friendly um, relationships with people, collaborative um, in the professional way, and warm and uh, supportive and um, with um, uh, sharing some personal things in your personal life. So what is well-being and uh, health for you? Which goals do you have about that in your life for more close period and uh, in your, in a distant um, way? Um, and if uh, just what comes pops up in your mind, uh, a, a couple of words uh, is a good thing just uh, to make notes about that. And uh, coaching also helps people uh, to become better uh, and to achieve more by exploring and following their values. What is values? It's important part of coaching. Uh, goals is uh, something which helps us to get the direction in which direction in my life I want to go. And values, it's about uh, what is uh, giving me the energy to move there. It's about what motivates me, uh, what is um, inspiring me. And uh, what is important for you about health and about well-being in your life? Uh, what is motivating you to get more health and more well-being in your life? Uh, how much does it inspire you to do something for that? And what do you feel when you think about health in your life, about uh, well-being as uh, something you can get more of in your life. And also coaching is an art and science of helping people in achieving of what they want, also when they think that it's not possible. And uh, how can it happen if a person thinks it's not possible? 
mm, our mind uh, is uh, um, something which gives us most uh, difficult limitations uh, which uh, nothing else uh, in the world can give us when we believe that uh, something is not possible. Because um, we are not born with that. Uh, a child uh, just uh, sees the world as something absolutely new and uh, doesn't think uh, what he believes or not. A child is seeing grown-up people go, and uh, he also wants uh, to stand up and go. And uh, uh, first, it can, uh, the child can only uh, to crawl, and then uh, the child can begin to hold himself uh, for a chair or for a table and start to getting up and immediately falling down. If a child at that time will think, oh, it's not possible for me to go, other people can, but I cannot, then we will never be able to go. But when we are just born, the first period of our life, we are not thinking about that because we can see all people go. If they can, I also can and the child is go, going on and going on and trying and trying again and again. And uh, once the child can go first staying, holding balance and then make first steps and then uh, two, three days and the child is going uh, uh, longer and longer distant. So this is a great, um, Example for us to remember, there was time in our life when we did not limit ourselves. The question is only uh, to make the steps we can make now, uh, the achievable steps. And um, uh, first it can be slow motion, little by little, but then it can become like a flow, uh, when we get our uh, new habits, when we get our new skills, developing them in ourselves, uh, and uh, uh, releasing our mind from uh, limiting uh, thoughts and beliefs. Uh, so, uh, what is next? Why coaching? Uh, it's uh, exactly because of that, because uh, we are exploring the way we think, the way we feel, and the way we act in order uh, to, to, to move towards our goals. goals. Uh, and what we think, what we feel and act in the way that brings uh, people to their desired goals in an ecological and congruent way. It's very important that uh, uh, in coaching we also uh, take care of uh, reaching our goals uh, on an ecological way. And from the situation what happens now with this uh, pandemia, uh, we have uh, learned that in the countries where there was less ecological, uh, the situation uh, with uh, people's health was the worst. Uh, so uh, this is uh, something which is making people to think, uh, how do we want to go further on? <clears throat> what can we learn from this situation which is happening in the world? Uh, and uh, coaching is developing people's thinking and make them to be aware of their values. Uh, exactly the values, what's important for me. And uh, already we were looking for these questions. What's important 
uh, about uh, health for you? What's about important about well-being for you in the way you define it in your life, in the way you understand uh, it in your life, what it is about? And um, coaching helps people to see their own limitations and start act acting in achievable chunks, making steps towards their goals. Mm, that's uh, what we were already were talking about. And um, uh, to see our own limitations in coaching, we learn to uh, be more attentive and more conscious about what I'm thinking uh, to develop an um, ability to be self-observing, observe my uh, thoughts. Is this thought supporting me to get what I want, uh, to move to the, the goals I want to achieve? Or is it preventing me from moving there? And then I'm aware about it's my own limitation. It's not about it's not possible in the world. It's about me thinking it is not possible. And uh, to uh, allow myself to um, just uh, think in a different way. Uh, just see a thought is uh, just a thought. Uh, it was maybe a decision uh, which I uh, unconsciously, maybe long, long ago in some situation, uh, just made uh, without being aware of that, some conclusion. If it's like that, then it means it's not possible. But now, many years after that, maybe it's time to take some new decisions about what is possible for me and what I want uh, for me to be possible. What I allow myself uh, to believe is possible for me. And uh, I'm sure that many of you have situations in your lives where um, you already have changed uh, a lot of uh, uh, limiting beliefs, being aware of that, or just because uh, you have got some new experience in your life and uh, uh, you were not thinking about uh, this is not possible for you and uh, great, uh, got great results and uh, uh, it's possible to see a part of me is thinking like that and a part of me is thinking like that. If I could choose myself, what would I choose? And in this way, uh, many people who learn coaching, they start coaching themselves uh, by hearing uh, many times these questions in a coaching training or from a personal coach. Mm, Many people uh, uh, pay attention. Oh, I'm asking coaching questions to myself. And it becomes more and more natural. Uh, Self-coaching is very natural. And uh, it's also possible by learning coaching, learning self-coaching. It, and it's very useful because uh, there are a lot of situations during the days where maybe uh, many of you have paid attention, we have uh, very often some dialogue inside with ourselves. And rather often this dialogue is not uh, very supportive, mm, is not very maybe healthy and, uh, and not very congruent with well-being. So um, being able to be aware of this inner dialogue and being able to put some um, interesting and uh, uh, exploring and clarifying questions can be very useful. 
and uh, this is uh, one of the uh, really very effective sides of coaching. And um, what are, um, oh, sorry. Um, oh, I can see what is, yeah, what's written there. Uh, but you can see, I'm sure. Yeah, I don't remember everything by heart what I was writing today. <laughs> Uh, what is the steps uh, we can do? And ah, what are the instruments of coaching which are helping us to move to the results? Uh, I would say, um, as a coach, uh, it's very important of being present. Because when a coach is present, uh, he is able um, to be in a resourceful state, uh, for me, it's important, and uh, I'm present uh, also when I'm breathing freely, when I'm centered in myself, and uh, a, task, a very important uh, competence of coaching uh, is having full attention on the client, of what um, client is uh, telling, what client is thinking, what um, client's uh, body is telling also, because our body is very uh, good to tell to each other, to talk to each other. And it's also very important uh, to learn to get the signs uh, of our body, our mimic, uh, micro expressions of our uh, facial muscles, mm, so full attention and listening, uh, because uh, um, it's very important uh, to have a high quality of listening, a high quality of attention, because uh, um, how do you think, how often you get enough, enough uh, interested, curious, understanding, listening, attention to yourself. Do you really get enough of it? Or do you know somebody uh, around you who gets enough of this uh, quality attention? Many people have a great lack of that. And uh, a coach in this way is a very special possibility uh, for a person who wants support from coaching support um, and uh, getting uh, sessions uh, in order to move together with coach in an equal partnership uh, towards a um, person's goals. Uh, gets a high quality of attention from the coach. This is one of very important skills of coaching. Um, and um, um, by listening, uh, coach can hear the client's answers uh, or the client's possibility to move uh, towards the answers. Because um, coaching has um, a different attitude uh, to the client um, in comparison, for example, with training, consulting, um, therapy, um, also uh, teaching, um, uh, that kind of mentoring, that kind of helping professionals. Because um, coaching is working with the most important and the most useful uh, instrument of coaching is coaching questions. Because um, the main point of coaching is that every person, each person has uh, his potential inside himself and has his own answers, important solutions uh, which um, our um, inner uh, world is knowing somewhere deep inside of ourselves, 
uh, we know uh, best of anybody else uh, what is important for us and uh, how we can reach it. Uh, and uh, that means a client is an expert in himself, uh, not always knowing that. And this is the task of a coach to help the client uh, to learn himself more and more as an expert of himself, uh, to um, help the client to make a connection between himself and his answers he has inside himself. And uh, coaching is listening uh, and um, it is activating in coach important questions. Uh, clarifying questions to clarify uh, what's important for the client, the values, clarifying uh, what is the goal uh, and uh, what does it mean for the client, for example, if the goal is health and well-being, or what does it mean in your life, health and well-being. So the client understands better uh, what does it mean for him? And what is motivating uh, uh, coaching? So making clarifying questions, exploring questions, motivating questions, powerful questions, which are stimulating the client's thinking and helping client uh, to develop uh, a more, a more, Mm, constructive thinking and the thinking which is um, good to find the important answers. Uh, creative thinking um, and uh, that the person can also learn to listen to himself and uh, to get his answers by being in contact with himself, in better contact with himself and um, maybe get better trust to himself uh, that his own answers are the best for him. That uh, a person doesn't need to be like others because we are unique. And uh, what if we succeed? Um, before we go to that, uh, I uh, would be happy um, to hear uh, what notes did you make somebody of you who want to share uh, or maybe which questions did you get on the way? Um, Alexis, would you help us with that? Of course. Um, what do you need? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, sorry, can you uh, refresh to me what you need help with? Um, I, I'm asking people to share with some, uh, with some notes which people maybe were doing or to share uh, maybe with some questions. Um, maybe write in the chat or maybe um, raise their you, hands to yes, yes and maybe just uh, ask get a microphone opened and okay. Um, okay. verbalize it so feel free to write your um, comments or your, your lines in the chat but also you can raise your hand if you prefer to participate via microphone and we can give you access to the microphone so just Feel free to raise your hand.
no questions and no notes. Nobody was doing any notes. Um, uh, we have to give them uh, a little bit of time. Maybe they're, they could be writing. Um, uh, there is, there's a hand up. Let's see if, we, if somebody wants to speak. Aston, if you can, uh, I think your microphone is open now. Hello. Hi, hello, can you hear me? Hello, Aston, yes. Hi, Hi Ludmilla. Hi, Alex. Um, yeah, just about the first point, I think it's very important about um, being present and before you speak to someone is being in the right state of mind yourself and being calm and being freely. I think sometimes if you could maybe think too much ahead of what the client's expectation is, you could go into maybe a session with too many of your own ideas rather than being able to listen to those. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, being in a state of present is, is I think, it's very important as a first step. Yes, thank you for your comment. No uh, you make some notes. May I be curious about that? About health and well-being and uh, uh, your intention for this webinar? Is it for me? Yes. Still? Oh, sorry, what was the question, sorry? My intention uh, for the webinar. You've been doing some notes. Yes. Uh, for the questions which I was um, asking about health and well-being and your intention for this webinar. Mm -hmm. Intentions for the webinar, I mean, I've, I've just came in, I've been a salesman for 11 years, so I've just come into the life coaching world. So it's always good just to, you know, for, listen to an experienced person like yourself. And it's like, um, I mean, I've read this stuff, what you're saying, I'm very familiar with stuff, what you're saying, but I think it's always good to start from the beginning again to watch yourself you know, what is coaching, why am I coaching, and always going back to the basics. So it'd be for good for me just to really just get as much knowledge as I can from this webinar and as much information you can share just so I, I don't get lost along the way. I think it's easy to get distracted along the path without forgetting the main reasons of why you're coaching and what's, what is coaching all about. And I find myself doing this as well. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Very no interesting to hear. No mm -hmm. uh, um, and uh, I'm also uh, very curious uh, uh, who is participating. And uh, I can see uh, people I know from Denmark, uh, from Russia. Uh, uh, so it's very warm feeling. Uh, seeing somebody I know and uh, I'm very curious about other participants and uh, if somebody also ha has um, made some notes or ha has question uh, I would be very glad to, if you share it thank you very much so um... Do you want to give a few minutes more? Yes, maybe a minute. A minute more. Okay. If anybody else wants to participate, please raise your hand. We can open the microphone for you. Um, because um, if there are some questions uh, uh, about what uh, maybe uh, somebody had an intention to hear more about, and I was not uh, talking so much about that. I would be also glad to hear if I can add something. So, so uh, what if we succeed <laughs> uh, with coaching in this or that way for somebody who wants uh, maybe to learn to be a coach and uh, to get um, practice with coaching and uh, to integrate coaching competencies uh, or for somebody who want to know uh, more about coaching because is thinking for finding a good coach for himself or just uh, to learn more about the different ways of uh, how people can develop themselves so positive expectations uh, is a good thing, but um, 
it's a tricky thing about expectations because sometimes when people expect that their goal will come to them, how can it happen? Maybe it will happen, maybe not. Uh, it's important that if we have expectations about I will fulfill my goal, uh, my goals will be fulfilled, my chances will be fulfilled. Uh, it's important that it is based, based also on client's responsibility and con, uh, commitment. Uh, responsibility for getting steps uh, towards his goals himself or organizing some people like a leader who is uh, helping people to organize themselves uh, to making steps for a goal. Um, and here leaders, uh, uh, in, uh, leaders um, responsibility will be and his goal to organize people about that. So, and also have an uh, honest agreement, what is commitment, an honest agreement with myself uh, to go towards my goal and do all the steps uh, I need to achieve these goals uh, until I'm there. And um, how present with your motivation, with your attention and and energy do you want to stay on the way to your desired uh, goals, uh, to the desired results of your own steps? And how joyful will you be celebrating your success and with whom uh, will you share it? So uh, this is what I wanted uh, to share with you uh, during this webinar. And if you take something with you, uh, I will be happy um, that, uh, um, of course, I will be happy if you write just one or two words, uh, what do we take with yourself, for yourself uh, with, from this webinar? Because um, uh, feedback is a very important part of coaching. Uh, getting feedback on uh, what uh, a person um, has uh, done or what a person has shown or how a person has communicated. So, and I trust uh, that uh, we all take from this what we came with, uh, I mean, with our, our intention. Um, and um, I trust that we all do the best we can. So I wish everybody the uh, way of being, uh, getting health and well-being in your life uh, the way you want it and the way uh, you are committed to get uh, more of it. So thank you very much for now. Hope. Uh, to meet with you again. Uh, have a good time. Thank you, Lumila. Thank you very much. It was really a deep topic. Um, it was very involving and I think it was very enriching as well. We have a, a few comments here below and, and thank you all for your attendance here and your participation. Yes, you will be receiving this recording shortly via email and we'll be seeing you very shortly in our upcoming webinars. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.